we have some great kids here who've uh, worked hard on a, worked hard in a lot of different ways uh, academically and in their community service, and uh, it's really exciting that we can uh, present these awards to them. So our first awardee is uh, Deanna Kinzer. If you want to come up. The, uh, the person, the company is go. Right Care Clinics, who uh, they take care of uh, us in Columbia and other counties. And this is Chandler Harlan, who uh, is owns Right Care Clinic. <laughs> Chandler Harlan, our friend. Don't be sorry, Chandler and some others. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. And Deanna plans to attend Columbia State Community College. All right, next up we have Mary E. Robertson. All right. Good job. Dr. Larry and uh, Reverend Dr. Larry and Patsy Thomas are presenting this award to Mary E. Robertson in memory of Coach Samuel and Dorothy Whitman. I sent my wife to choir rehearsal. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and next up we have Julia H. Boylan. Dr. Patrice Hawkins is presenting this award in memory of her grandmother, Bertha Gill, and Miss, uh, and, 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 and Miss, uh, uh, Patricia Hawkins, Commissioner Patricia Hawkins will be presenting in her stead. Right, excellent. Our next awardee is Kelsey V. Booker. Barbara Dobbins and myself will be giving this award to Kelsey. Great job. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. And I, uh, I wanted to let everybody know that, uh, go back and tell you that. Mary E. Robinson is going to UT Knoxville. Julia is going to UT Knoxville. Kelsey is going to University of Georgia. All right, our next awardee is uh, Sydney B. Church. And State Farm Insurance, uh, Agent Manuel Young is presenting this award. <laughs> yeah, you. Oh yeah, the money. That's. See this one, my own wife, UT Martin. UT Martin. Yep. Okay. Fun place. All right. Uh, our next awardee, come on up, Alexa S. Catney. This is On Point Enterprises, and Emmanuel Young will be giving that. Here you go. Great job. And Alexa will be going to Austin Peay State University. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next awardee, Tra Travius Kane Hassel. Hopefully, I pronounced that correctly. You got it right. All right. It's <laughs> <laughs> a cool name. I've heard that. Uh, thank congratulations. Thank you. And our next up is Dr. Jokinis is giving this award. Here? Yeah. There he is. Congratulations. Thank you. And Alexia Jenkins. This is Ms. Hawkins' neighbor. <laughs> Ms. Hawkins will be given this award.
think. We promise we have your money here somewhere. <laughs> Alexa, Kathy. I think you have Alexia uh -oh. Jenkins' money. Here, here, give us Alexa Jenkins. And she would be wonderful. Love you, State Community College. All right, our next awardee, Destiny A. Harlan. for Daryl Shepard. And Destiny will be going to Austin Peay State University. going to MTSU, my alma mater, but that's okay. <laughs> These are all great schools. <laughs> all right, our uh, last but not least, we have Ethan Davis. Thank you for giving this award on behalf of Christy Hope in memory of her mother, Archer's Hope. Yes. Get in a picture. Come on, Get in a we like to uh, all of the recipients to come up um, all together, please, so they can take that photograph. And I have check. Julia Bullion's check, Kelsey hey, Booker's check, and community stakeholders. You are the reason for the need for the school, your students. I tell teachers all the time, without these students, we wouldn't have a job. Amen. So we are here for them. Let us address their need. And I'm thankful. I don't want to just sing on any one person. I, I'm, I'm just blown away. I appreciate everything everybody's done. Every part is important. No part, nobody here play a small part. You all played a, a great part. Even the sponsor that paid the large money, you didn't have to do it, but you knew it was for a worthy call, and I say thank you. Not one person that I asked to contribute said no. The people participating and to make the program successful, <clears throat> you all said yes, and I'm thankful. It's not about what I accomplished, it's what I was able to do with your help. Karen and uh, Anna, and his first name, because I don't have time to remember the last name, <laughs> but couldn't have done it without them. I think in the night of something that I need to check out, I text them, or I sent texts reminding me of this, and Karen would say, got that taken care of, and so that means I could go to sleep. And so once again, community coming together to put this beautiful program, I say thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I'd like to... I know the seniors, everybody got a word of encouragement to leave with them. But Sockham, on behalf of Sockham, we wish for the best for you. We want you to continue your community involvement. Be who you are. Do what you do. As you select your friends when you go forward, be very selective because these friends would help determine your path. And the best friend you can have is Jesus. Amen. He's going to always be with you. I was a little country girl, went off to school, did not have a place to stay because I did not have $25 to pay a room deposit. I had relatives living in Montgomery, Alabama, where I went to school, and told my friend, if she'll come, we'll have a place. They met me at the bus station. I got off, and I was able to stay at a boarding house for $25 a month and I was able to help cook food and wash your dishes for my food. And so any little bit of help that this has provided for you, I just say thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to, to do what little bit I did, and hopefully I can continue and can give more back to the community. Thank you once again. I'm gonna turn it over to Karen and Anna, 
and see if they want to come up and, and have a few words to say with to you. Thank you. I'm going to close this out here. Um, thank you. My name's Anna. Skates is my last name, although it has changed since I've known Miss Hawkins, so it's fair that she doesn't remember. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. We are so inspired by these students and can't wait to watch their continued efforts to better their communities wherever those may be, wherever you find yourself in life and in this world. Um, personally speaking, I didn't really know my capacity to bring about positive change when I was a student, when I was your age, not in any kind of broad sense. I didn't know that I could participate in mobilizing efforts in my community and I didn't know that I had a voice that mattered in the conversation about creating a better world. But it does matter. Your voices matter and together they're stronger. And it's difficult to feel that in our current climate, um, especially politically, I think on a national level, it often seems like our voices are so, so small. And I began to feel that smallness a couple of years ago and I decided that I was going to find a place where my voice could actually make a bigger impact. And that's how Sockham came into the picture for me. I joined Sockham because I wanted to be an active participant in making my community the best it could be. By being a voice for those who didn't feel heard or represented, by fighting systemic injustices, and in all of that shining a light on this place that I call home. And here's the thing, to bring about change, we need change makers, like all of you, like these students. We have a lot to learn from people like you. In fact, it might do us well to try to be you when we grow up, whenever that is. <laughs> I'm 32 years old and I don't feel quite grown up yet. Sagam is a change making organization. That's what we do. It's small but mighty. And that's often where the biggest change begins in the unsuspecting, small but mighty places and people. So let me say to you, don't ever let anybody make you feel too small to be a change maker, because that is just not the case. And if you want to be a change maker, but you don't know where to start, for all of you who are staying here in Murray County, Saka might be the perfect place. This organization is designed to empower community members to generate change and mobilize around efforts that concern us and our county. It's grassroots organizing at its best. It's set up to help citizens, all of us, garner change that matters to us and our community. It's change from within.